Do you use Google Docs? Well, they've just released a brand new feature that's gonna let you create activities for your students that test their vocabulary, grammar, spelling, and even pronunciation. And as the teacher, it's gonna help you boost your productivity. Let's go take a look. <sighs> right, to use this new feature, all we're going to do is go to our Google Docs homepage and start a new blank document. And to access this new feature, we're just going to go to insert drop down. Okay, so this is going to insert a drop down menu. For example, what is the name of my of my YouTube channel? What I want to do is give you a choice of answers. So we'll go to insert drop down, new drop down, and we'll just call this a uh, test. Okay, so the first option is the correct one, so Charlie's lessons. Then the second one we're gonna call it uh, Charlie's classes. And the next one will be Charlie's uh, cat. And the next one will be Charlie's new shirt. We'll press save. Now we have a drop down menu with four options. So I click here and I can choose this one, this one, or this one. And I've created a drop down menu within Google Docs. So let me show you an example of how I've used this with my students so far. So here I've got a short story that I'm using to test my students' knowledge of the past tenses. So for each question, I've got a, a number and an option, which is the verb. Now they have to conjugate that verb to the correct past tense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this gap Go to insert, drop down, and new drop down. And I'm gonna call this go. And I'm gonna have went, let's see, going, gone, and had gone. Let's see if I can trip up a few students. And if I go to the next one with have, I'm gonna go to again, insert, drop down. And you can see that I've already got now a saved drop down menu called go which I can use in future activities if I'm testing the conjugation of the word go. I'm gonna share a link to this document in the description below, and you can use this with your students. All you need to do is click on the link and make a copy. So a second way we can use this new drop-down menu in Google Docs is to test your students' vocabulary. So in the previous activity, we we're testing our students' ability to conjugate past tenses. Well, here we are looking at vocabulary. So for example, number one, it's often made of leather and you wear it at the top of your trousers. Let's make a drop down menu, new drop down menu. Let's have belt, which is the correct answer. Uh, a bum bag or even a chastity belt. I'm going to put a link again in the description to this document and all you need to do is just make a copy of it and you can use it with your class. So let's imagine that you do want to share these activities with your students, let's say to do for homework. All we need to do is go into your drive and preferably put these documents in their own folder. Here we have the document that tests the students past tenses. This is the original or the master copy. All we're going to do is let's say you have six students in your class. So we're going to make a copy of the original. And what we're going to do, we're going to keep making copies until we've got one copy for each student. Okay, so you can see here I've made six copies of the same document and I'm just going to name them to the name of the student that I'd like to share it with. Once I've named them, I'm going to go to share and I'm going to find the email of my student. I'm going to write it into here. Once you've got your student's email address, you just add them as a commenter. Do not add them as a viewer as they won't be able to change the options and do not add them as an editor otherwise they'll be able to change everything about the document including the drop down menus. When the student receives the document they can then start to look at the questions and answer like this. So they choose one, going and having and got. And as we can see on the right hand side, we are seeing all the changes that the student is making. And from the teacher's perspective, we can also see the comments or the changes that the student is making to each question. So we can see here, if we go and click on this comment, we can see that he has chosen going. If we click on the second comment, we can see that this student has chosen having. Once the student has finished answering all the drop down menu questions, all they need to do is leave the document and wait for you as a teacher to go in and check that they are correct. 
As the teacher, you can correct their answers by going into the comment section and just saying correct and press reply. And from the student's perspective, they can then see on the first one they answered, they can see the comment from the teacher saying that it is correct. While we are talking about sharing, maybe this is a good point to talk about collaboration between students to create activities for fellow classmates in your class. So for example, I've pasted this text into a blank Google Doc. And what I'm going to do is in the class, I'm going to select a group of students and they are going to create a test for another group of students. To share between students, all you need to do is create a name for the document and add all the students' email addresses and add them as editors. Once the students have access to the documents, you can give the students a focus. What would you like them to test? Let's say that you're looking at past tenses. So you ask the students to identify all the past tenses and make a drop down menu for each verb. If you're testing prepositions, the same. Identify five or six prepositions that you'd like to test the other group on and get them to create drop down menus for each preposition. For example, this sentence here about banning people eating and drinking on trains. Let's go to on insert drop down menu, new drop down, and let's say the students have to come up with a selection of prepositions. So at, in, and on, and they would press save. Once the students have got six or seven drop down menu questions, they can then share the document with another group that are in the class. Or if you're teaching online, it's exactly the same. You just share this document with the other group of students that are working online too. This is just one way of getting your students to collaborate in class, either face-to-face -face or online. If you do like your students collaborating in class, then you should go check out my other video right here, which looks at how you can get students collaborating on platforms like Google Doc and Padlet, Wakelet, and many more. Now, moving away from students, let's look at how this new feature on Google Docs can help teachers become more productive. What we're gonna take a look at now is looking at how teachers can collaborate on assessment of students. So for example, here I have a table of three students and let's say they've done four different exams or tests during one term. Let's imagine that David, Pablo and Blanca were working with me for a few days and then other days of the week they were with different teachers. All I need to do is share this document with those teachers and let's insert a drop down menu in each bar that has some arbitrary grades. So for example, strong pass, pass and fail. Strong pass, let's call this, uh, let's make this green, uh, pass less green and then fail. Let's save this. Now you might have a different grading system where you work and to be honest, fail, um, we try to avoid that term, especially in my school. And the other teachers that are working on this document can see what grade I give each student. This video is just about one feature on Google Docs. If you are using Google Docs as a teacher in the classroom, then you should really go and check out my other video, which goes into a whole host of other features that Google Docs offers to teachers. Thank you for watching this video on this new feature on Google Docs. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.